Are you tired of struggling to make ends meet? Are you ready to break free from the cycle of financial hardship? Well, you're in luck because today we have an electrifying topic that's going to change the way you think about your money. Get ready as we dive into the wisdom of the legendary personal finance guru, Dave Ramsey, who's here to reveal the four things that poor people absolutely must avoid spending their hard-earned money on. This is the advice you've been waiting for, the insights that will revolutionize your financial journey. So buckle up and get ready to take control of your financial destiny as Dave Ramsey shares the secrets to breaking free from poverty and building a life of financial freedom. First thing, unused gym memberships. One common financial mistake that many people, especially those with limited financial resources, tend to make is signing up for a gym membership and then not making use of it. While the intention behind getting a gym membership may be to improve one's health and fitness, the reality is that the majority of individuals who sign up for gym memberships fail to consistently attend and benefit from the facilities they pay for. When poor individuals allocate a portion of their limited budget towards a gym membership, they are essentially investing in their health and well-being. However, when they fail to take full advantage of the gym facilities and services, their investment turns into a waste of money. There are several reasons why poor people often neglect to utilize their gym memberships. Firstly, they may have underestimated the time commitment required to regularly visit the gym. Poor individuals often have multiple responsibilities, such as long work hours, family obligations, and financial concerns that leave them with little time and energy for exercising at the gym. As a result, they end up paying for a service they rarely have the opportunity to use. Secondly, poor individuals may lack the motivation or discipline to make consistent use of their gym memberships. Exercise requires commitment and perseverance, which can be challenging for anyone, but particularly for those facing financial difficulties. When confronted with financial stressors, it becomes easier to prioritize immediate needs over long-term health goals. Moreover, poor individuals may not have access to adequate transportation to reach the gym. Public transportation costs or the lack of a personal vehicle can pose significant barriers for them, making it difficult to consistently attend gym sessions. As a result, they are unable to fully utilize the membership they are paying for. Additionally, poor individuals may feel overwhelmed or intimidated by the gym environment. Gyms can be crowded, with many individuals who appear more experienced and fit. This can create a sense of self-consciousness and discomfort for those who are just starting their fitness journey. Feeling out of place or insecure can discourage poor individuals from attending the gym, leading to wasted money on unused memberships. In some cases, poor individuals may have initially signed up for a gym membership due to societal pressure or a momentary burst of motivation only to lose interest or enthusiasm as time goes on. This lack of commitment and sustainable motivation often results in the neglect of the gym membership, rendering it a financial burden. To avoid wasting money on unused gym memberships, poor individuals should carefully consider their financial situation, time availability, and personal motivation before signing up. They should explore alternative options for physical activity that fit their lifestyle and budget, such as outdoor exercises, home workouts, or community fitness programs. Prioritizing consistency and choosing activities that can be easily incorporated into their daily lives can help them maintain an active and healthy lifestyle without the financial burden of an underutilized gym membership. The second thing, brand new cars. One common financial misstep that poor people often make is purchasing brand new cars. Despite the allure of shiny new vehicles, this decision can be detrimental to their financial well-being in the long run. The main reason behind this is the rapid depreciation that occurs 
as soon as the car leaves the dealership. When you buy a new car, its value immediately drops significantly. It's not uncommon for a new vehicle to lose around 20% of its value within the first year of ownership. This means that if you paid $30,000 for a new car, it might only be worth $24,000 or less after just one year. This depreciation continues over time, with the value of the car decreasing even further. For poor people who are already struggling financially, buying a brand new car can be a poor financial decision. It puts them at a disadvantage because they are essentially paying a premium for the experience of being the first owner, but that luxury comes with a hefty price tag. Instead of considering the long-term financial implications, they often focus on the immediate satisfaction of driving a new car. In addition to rapid depreciation, new cars also come with other expenses that can strain a tight budget. Insurance premiums for new vehicles tend to be higher, and so are the registration fees and taxes. Maintenance and repair costs can also be higher for newer models, especially if they require specialized parts or services. A wiser approach for those with limited financial resources would be to consider purchasing a reliable used car. Used cars have already experienced their most significant depreciation hit, so their value tends to stabilize. By buying a used vehicle that is a few years old, poor individuals can save a significant amount of money while still acquiring a reliable means of transportation. Moreover, opting for a used car allows them to pay in cash or take out a smaller loan, reducing the financial burden. With the money saved, they can focus on other essential financial priorities, such as paying off debt or building an emergency fund. The third thing, payday loans. One of the significant financial challenges faced by many individuals with limited income is the need for quick cash during emergencies or to cover unexpected expenses. In such situations, payday loans often appear as a tempting solution. Payday loans are short-term loans typically offered to borrowers who can provide proof of income and a post-dated check or access to their bank account. While these loans may provide immediate relief, they come with exorbitant interest rates and fees, making them a dangerous financial choice. The primary issue with payday loans is the astronomical interest rates they charge. These rates can range from 300% to 500% annual percentage rate, or even higher, depending on the lender and local regulations. For example, if a borrower takes out a $500 payday loan with a 400% of PR, they would have to repay $600 within two weeks. This means that for every $100 borrowed, an additional $20 is paid in interest alone. The high interest rates associated with payday loans often result in a cycle of debt. Many borrowers find themselves unable to repay the full loan amount by the due date so they opt to renew or roll over the loan. When this happens, additional fees and interest are added, increasing the total amount owed. This cycle can continue indefinitely, trapping borrowers in a never-ending loop of debt. Furthermore, payday loans can lead to financial instability and negatively impact overall financial health. Borrowers often prioritize repaying these loans over other essential expenses, such as rent, utilities, or groceries. This can lead to late fees, disconnection of utilities, eviction, and even hunger. Additionally, the constant pressure of repaying payday loans can cause significant stress and strain on individuals and their families. It is crucial to recognize that payday loans are not a sustainable solution for financial emergencies. Instead, seeking alternative options such as creating an emergency fund, borrowing from family or friends, negotiating payment plans with creditors, or exploring local community resources and assistance programs can provide more viable and long-term solutions. The fourth thing, Designer clothing and accessories. 
Spending excessive amounts on designer clothing and accessories is a common financial pitfall for those who are struggling financially. In a society that often equates luxury brands with success and status, many people find themselves tempted to indulge in high-end fashion despite their limited financial means. While there's nothing inherently wrong with appreciating quality craftsmanship and aesthetics, the issue lies in the financial burden it can create for those who can't afford it. One of the main drivers behind the allure of designer brands is the perception of exclusivity and social status they offer. Owning a luxury item can make people feel like they belong to an elite group, which can boost their self-esteem and confidence. Additionally, flashy logos and brand names have become a form of social currency, with some individuals believing that wearing these items will make them more likable or respected by others. However, the truth is that these perceived benefits come with a significant cost. Designer clothing and accessories often come with a hefty price tag, sometimes marked up many times over the actual cost of production. For those already struggling to make ends meet, allocating a substantial portion of their income to luxury items can severely hinder their ability to save, invest, or pay off debts. Moreover, the fast-paced nature of fashion means that trends and styles change rapidly. What may be considered fashionable and desirable one season could quickly become outdated the next, rendering the expensive purchase much less valuable over time. This fast turnover in trends can lead to a vicious cycle of constant spending on new luxury items, exacerbating financial instability.